and welcome back to the FEI Vaulting World Championship for young vaulters and juniors and the FEI European Championship for seniors. And our final class of the day will be the individual female young vaulter technical test. Thirty-three starters from seventeen nations, and they completed the compulsory test yesterday. Alice Leher of Germany taking the lead with an 8.247, quite clear of Anna Weidenauer from Austria, who is currently second at 7.852. Third place for Anime Zims, also for Germany, 7.758. However, as we saw in the senior female technical test yesterday, everything can change here now. And this is the second part of round one. So the compulsory scores will be added with the score from the technical test today, and that will make up the round one score for the athletes, who will then come again for the final on Saturday, and they will compete in reverse order in that freestyle test on Saturday. And Saturday is worth 50% of the final score. So albeit we have a clear leader at the moment, there is the potential that things could change. Now, this technical program for young vaulters differs from that in the seniors, only in that instead of the five technical exercises, the vaulters only have to show three. And which three they show is completely up to them. So the three exercises will be within a free test, and the technique judges will score each of the three exercises as well as the performance elements. The artistic judge looking at the sequences between and before and after technical exercises as well as looking at the, the unity of the composition and the musical interpretation. Scoring of the technical test is quite complicated However, we will keep you updated as we go. Eight judges once again here. 25% of the score goes to the horse, specifically judged by Judge A and Judge E. Four judges marking the technique score. So 50% on technique. And that is B, D, F and H. And then the artistic score will come from Judge C and Judge G. The time limit for this technical test, 60 seconds. A lot of the female seniors struggled with that time limit. Of course, now that we only have three exercises to complete for the juniors, much more likely that they get that in in the time limit. So the five exercises that the athletes can choose from are testing the strength, balance, coordination, jump force and suppleness. So they will choose between the lower arm stand, the backward stand, the cartwheel, the mount or ground jump to shoulder stand and the reverse stand split. Now, if the athlete chooses to show more than the three, it is only the, thir the first three that they show that will be scored as technical elements. Each of those elements have to be held for three strides, of course, aside from the cartwheel. First competitor will be from Sweden. And we will have a break after the 18th competitor today in order for us to prepare the arena for the second half of the athletes and horses coming in. Now, it has been quite an electric atmosphere in the Kunstgard Hall here in Flinge. A few horses struggling with that tension and with the pressure of the high-level competition. Hopefully not 
in this class. So first to go representing Sweden, Nu Lindström with Anna Andersson and Sim. New in the 33rd position after the compulsory test. And this young vaulter class, this is the first time we have had a world championship. The class came to be last year and there was a European Championship. A really positive number of competitors here in Flingen. just at the start of her test there, getting some freestyle exercises first and now the first technique exercise, the reverse stand split. And the cartwheel there coming off the centre line but landing on the one foot which is important. the backward stand when that bell rang. I don't think she'd moved her outside foot into the backward stand position and therefore it will not be scored. So only managing to fit in the two technical exercises into that round. And due to the bell, she will receive a minus one point on the artistic score. And the young vaulter class just smoothing the transition from junior level into senior level. 16 to 21, the age of the athletes in this class. Mew, just 19 years old. And the judges are very specific with what they want to see from the exercises. So in the cartwheel, the line of the vaulter must go along the spine of the horse for top marks and most importantly they have to land on the foot of the first leg with the second leg straight until it passes that 45 degree angle. In the needle backwards, the reverse stand split, 180 degrees is what we're looking for between the legs fully absorbing the horse's movement with flat hands on the back pad and held for that full three canter strides. And the backwards stand is scored much like the forwards compulsory stand. The arms, however, can be wherever the vaulter decides, but they must be static in order for the move to count. The, the judge won't start scoring that until the arms are out and static. Anything before or after these static arms is merely a performance element and not scored as a technical one. Jana Kramerhofer now in for Belgium. And she comes with Kaiser Chief and Anne Proust. 30th place after the first round. And the order of go still the same as the first day. So the most important essence of the technical program, be it young vaulter or senior, is to get these moves in, the three technical moves, well performed, 
and a really neat performance in between. Of course, it is the in-between exercises which count for 40% of the artistic score, but on balance, much more important to have tight and well-executed technical elements. Good alignment in the cartwheel, just slightly fast into the landing. And to that ground jump into reverse shoulder stand, minor touch to the side of the horse, but using your strength into the shoulder stand position, little slip just afterwards. And her final technical element, just making the three strides. And hopefully just having started that dismount before the bell rang. Now, the fact that she stood up and then dropped and touched the surcingle and then back into the backward stand actually doesn't count towards that backward stand exercise because her arms had not been out and still. So it's a performance fault. And the backward stand was held pretty nicely, albeit just a fraction short. Anything short of the three canter strides will can counter a counting error. And that is just one point off the exercise score. Coming up next for Switzerland, Alicia Balci. She performs on... And the exercises of which the vaulters complete in between technical elements, they count for the sequences of the artistic and four sequences available to be scored. And the difficulty of those interim exercises is very important for the high sequence scores. So if they have difficult exercises in between and one or two of them, that score goes right on up there. If it's just a singular, simple transition or simple exercise, then it is towards the lower end of the score for the sequence alone. Sequences only 40% of that artistic score, musical interpretation and unity of composition make up the other 60%. And now to Switzerland, Alicia Barci with London Time and Corinne Bossard. Alicia 20th position after the compulsory test. Twenty-five percent of this score, once again, is going to the horse with the exact same criteria. The quality of the canter has the majority of the score, sixty percent. Vaultability has twenty-five percent, and the lunging, fifteen.
firstly into the backwards needle. Good flexibility, mild gripping on the pad. Great transition out of it, however, picking up points on the sequence. London time just in on the circle. Great backwards stand. Executed cartwheels safely through all those technical exercises and a nice dismount there. Alicia Bartschi from Switzerland. All three technical exercises performed well. A few deductions in the in between exercises. A little lack of harmony with the horse. London time also moving in and out of the circle. And making it that bit more challenging. That was a really great transition out of the reverse stand split. There we have the score for Mew Lindstrom from Sweden, the first competitor of the day. 4.439. And that gives me a 5.156 total. And there the score for Jana Kramerhofer of Belgium. 6.184 in the technical test today. 6.325 overall. And the next competitor, Caroline Morse for the USA. And she will be competing on Corazon Gran with Benita Julia Goltz. Caroline placing 19th in the compulsory test. Twenty one years old. And the music and dress of the Volter chosen to go with an artistic concept and aiming to boost that musical interpretation side of the score. Completely the athlete's choice. Smooth cartwheel. Very difficult exercises starting the test. Building that sequence score. Squeezing well to hold strong in the lower arm stand. position through that backwards needle and off in time with Belt. Great job, Caroline Morse representing the USA. Solid backwards needle. We saw she just took a moment to get her foot in the right place, which was very worth it. Flat hands. Slightly off the 180 degree, but that aside, an excellent needle. 
strong in the lower arm stand as well. And a gentle and well-aligned cartwheel. Not only that, but we couldn't take much away from the performance in between. She worked very well on top of the horse and had some excellent difficulty. So looking for a big score there, Caroline Morris for the USA. However, now the score for Alicia Barci of Switzerland in the technical program, 6.871. And that's giving Alicia Barchi a 6.909 total score for the round. Yes. Lower in the artistic score for Alicia. And we continue with three competitors now for the Czech Republic. Veronika Kabova, Lucy Kubikova, and Barbara Kisela, all three competing with Aladdin and Andre Svoboda. Veronica Kabova, 31st after the compulsory test. stiffness in the hips twisting over. To the reverse stand split again. Solid base. Just lacking a little of flexibility in the hips. Another very smooth performance so far. Losing the balance a little bit in the backward stand. And have a waft to finish. All in all, a gentle test there. Not quite the same difficulty in the elements between some of those technical moves, particularly between the needle and the backward stand. A good performance score, though. And now Lucy Kubikova, 23rd after the compulsory test. Choosing the needle, a little grip of the pad, and some movement through of the horse's movement through her body that we could see. And making it over in the cartwheel. Well, 
Arden just lacking a little bit of forward energy. Great spin into the backward stand. A bit short. So counting error, I think, in that backward stand there. For Lucy Kubikova and our final competitor on Aladdin. Barbara Kisela. Barbara in the 32nd place after the compulsory test. Choosing the outside mount to build the artistic score. Good cartwheel. Losing a little bit of tension at the top of our handstand. stand, leaning very slightly towards the inside. Just two strides there in the backward stand, pleased with that test. A really good dismount, just that little bit short in the backward stand. Uh, filling the sequences in between the technical elements there with a variety of exercises and with some good difficulty in those exercises too so should be looking for a higher up artistic score there from Barbara Kisela representing the Czech Republic along with Lucy Kubikova and Veronika Kabova. And that artistic judge, or those artistic judges, looking for the same elements as what we were looking for earlier in the free tests, with the variety of exercises, the various structure groups, the mixture between dynamic and static elements, as well as the directions and positions on the horse. Not an easy job judging technical tests. Now the score for Caroline Morse from the USA, 7.394 and straight into the lead so far. Judge D loving that test, Veronica Kabova, 6.493, Lucy Kubikova, 6.169. And each competitor with an accurate start time, so they will not come into the ring before their allotted time to ensure everyone has an even preparation. Keeping things fair across the board. Now, coming in, representing Slovakia, Sara Soltisova with Martin Vavacek and investment. She was in the 11th place after the compulsory round. Investment with one of the top horse scores from the compulsory test. And some excellent face art to go with her theme. 
athletes can wear face paint as long as it doesn't cover more than 25% of their face. jump into the shoulder stand. Investment just picking up a little bit there. Nicely through the cartwheel, a little bit of an arch back and some speed, but definitely in alignment. to that backwards needle with good flexibility but gripping the pad. And making off just in time there. Sara Soltisova, Soltisova representing Slovakia in her technical test. Good technical elements. Just gripping the pad there, which can be up to two points off, depending on how much the judge decided it was gripped. Good ground jump into the reverse shoulder stand and a high level of difficulty in the sequences, which should make for some higher artistic score there. We could see from that angle in the reverse stand split, the top leg just a little bit off towards the inside of the circle. And that's the score there for Barbara Kisela of the Czech Republic. 6.662. Third, third score in the technical test today so far. That top score so far sitting with Caroline Morse of the USA. Now the next competitor into the arena, Paula Waskowiak, representing Germany. And coming in with Jabolo and Tabia Struck. Paola sitting in the fourth place after the compulsory test. Scores are very close after the compulsory test between, specifically between second and seventh, so lots of room for movement. And making this all the more important. Certainly technical tests are much more nerve-wracking part of the competition for the athletes due to the fact that they have to perform those mandatory exercises and they're trying to make that look fluid within a freestyle.
a little bit less left than she hoped for at the start. Taking her time getting into that ground jump to reverse shoulder stand. Lacking the harmony just a touch in the shoulder stand itself. Some small reactions from the horse. Very well done moving through, turning into the backward stand and then holding it. Landing well from that cartwheel. Once again, the hips and the cartwheel is not quite as fluid as they could be for the top score. Well executed technical test from Paula Waskowiak for Germany. A little bit hesitant and as I said, the horse was reacting just a fraction as well. Um, lacking a little bit of the difficulty that we've seen from some of the other competitors. If we are looking for the top scores, she was sitting in the fourth place after the compulsory test. Good backflip to finish, a little bit off towards the one side, so some small performance faults there, but landing it well. Sara Soltisova for Slovakia, 7.035 in the technical test alone. But she does move into the first place after round one. All of these competitors will make it into the final on Saturday. And next to compete for Switzerland, Michelle Brugger with Saltiri, OLZ, and Sandra Muller. Michelle, 20 years old. And in the ninth place after the compulsories. And a big hope for Switzerland in this class. Saitiri, of course, a medal winning horse herself with Manon Moutinho at the World Championships last year. Losing it almost in that forward roll. This performance faults. Very nice cartwheel. Lovely movement from the kick all the way around now into the reverse stand split. Again, another well executed technical element. Using that lower arm stand for her final technical test move. Great dismount. So holding that lower elbow stand, lower arm stand, very well. A little bit off of the 
100% vertical in it, but just a touch. And losing the flow of the test just after it, before the dismount. However, it was a very difficult test. Well executed technical test exercises. So high scores should be coming her way from the technique judges. The only little piece of roughness or deductions really, only performance fault in the other exercises was in that role where she did have to grip the back pad. The rest of it was a lovely technical test. Lower foot quite close to the surcingle in that needle. Backward stand split. It really must not contact it. And the score for Paula Waskowiak from Germany. 7.518. So top scoring technical program so far. Two competitors together now, along with Lasse Christensen and Clint Holmes Ramstein. Ida Wellander representing Sweden and Emma Helene Caps for Denmark. Ida in the eighth place after the compulsory test. Twenty years old. Clean ground jump into that shoulder stand. Again, holding the lower arm stand very strongly. forward in that backward stand. Lovely handstand forward roll to finish. And successfully through the technical program for Ida Velander. And her backward stand just a little bit forwards in the upper body. Solid from her feet, but the body posture not quite where it needs to be for the top score in that element. Emma Helene Caps now representing Denmark. 15th place after the compulsory test. Choosing the mount on from the outside for the additional artistic. Stiff towards the inside, not coming right over the vertical in her cartwheel. And certainly, fingers on that back pad managing to hold it for the full three strides in the reverse stand split. It's 
solidly making it through the backward stand and already in the dismount before the bell. Uh, good performance from Emma Helene Katz representing Denmark. Ida Velander for Sweden and Emmeline Caps representing Denmark. Slightly lower in the difficulty in sequences for both of those competitors. And that comes through only in the artistic score. There is no degree of difficulty per se in the technical part of it. That is really focused on the performance of the exercises and the performance of the technical elements and we have our first really big score in there now Michelle Brugger for Switzerland 7.808 And the score also in now for Ida Wellander of Sweden, 7.915. Very good exercise scores there, and indeed a great horse score for Clintham's Ramstein. Our next competitor representing Hungary with Luki Du Soufflé and Anita Flamon Prochaska. And after the first round, Florencia in the 28th place. This is a great theme. Very enjoyable to watch. to the lower arm stand, well held. Bit of an arch through the back. And landing well from the cartwheel. Front knee just a little bent and stiff through the hips. Ground jump into the shoulder stand. Legs not coming quite up together in straight. Really needed to be immediately into that shoulder stand position, but a nice dismount there. Back handspring off, landing it well. Florencia Hatton for Hungary with a Luki du Soufflé and Anita Flamon Prochaska.
getting some characterization in there at the beginning of the test. And good spin. Looking for artistic points from that. And the score for Emma Helene Caps from Denmark. 6.678. And that is a first round score for um, Emma Helene of 6.903. Current in, in the lead, Ida Willander of Sweden. Araminta Younger now representing Great Britain with River of Time and Susie Kusik. years old. And in the 14th place after the first round of compulsories. Stand a little bit of a twist of the hips facing forwards. Getting plenty of choreography in now. jump nicely into the reverse shoulder stand. Just squeezing in three canter strides in the backward stand. It could have been a little bit short, but it was solid and well held some nice characterization in between the exercises. Strong technical elements there from Araminta Younger for Great Britain. difficulty in the sequences starting with that D roll mount. The score for Florencia Hutton from Hungary. 6.813 in the technical test. And that is the seventh place so far. And that puts Florencia into the eighth place so far after round one. 6.700. And we have four more competitors before we will take a break to tractor the arena. The next two coming together and are representing Italy. Sofia Crippa and Giada Samiolo. Both vaulting on Rosenstolz 99. 
time with Laura Carnabucci. Sophia in the 16th place after the compulsory test. 7.110. Once again, building the difficulty from the start with that D mount. Choosing the lower arm stand, we saw a little bit of the horse's movement throughout her body there. A little bit loss of control. Hesitation in the freestyle. Just only managing two strides for the backward stand. Mosen Stoltz a little bit up, the cartwheel not landing on that one foot. Quite a difficult test there for Sofia Kripa. Rosen Stoltz just becoming a little bit more excitable within the arena here in Flinge. Next to compete, Chiada Saniolo, the 13th place after the compulsory test. I tell you, the lunges have certainly had their work cut out for them today. Many of them having to work very hard. Normally, you don't see them. They're always working hard, but we don't see them actively having to work hard. Today, slightly different. Backward stand split, grabbing the pad, but arm staying firm, so probably not losing the full two points. Landing the cartwheel, albeit the hips coming through more of a handstand axis. And a solid lower arm stand. That is the technical elements all done. Just enough time to squeeze in. One more move before she finished. So a nice performance there, lacking a little bit of harmony with the horse at the beginning for Giada Samiolo. And certainly a bit more difficult for Sofia Krippe. You know, whether the judges score the first time she moved into the backward stand, I'm not sure. Her arms hadn't been static, however, that was the intention. And second time, though, only managing to hold the backward stand for the two counting strides for Sofia. And then just falling out of it. 
And once again, not quite managing to land the cartwheel on that one foot. So it will be a zero score for the cartwheel. So unfortunately, not going to be a high score there in the technique for Sofia. Much better round, though, for Giada. And the score for Araminta Younger for Great Britain, 7.126. A little bit lower in the technique score from the judge at H. And some nice score scores for River of Time for Araminta Younger. Two more competitors together now. Leonie Kohler. And Megan Leeper, Leonie for Austria, Megan representing Canada, both with Nicole Weithofer and Don Zeno. Now Leonie is currently in the seventh place after the compulsory test. Holding that backward stand, will be a little bit of a wobble going out of it. Getting some emotion in there for the musical interpretation. Managing to squeeze that first time. I think the legs did come together though. That could be a repetition. Unfortunately, then a counting error for the lower arm stand. Good cartwheel. And making it just off in time. Just before the bell. Um, good additional exercises there from Leonie Kuhler. Not always in harmony with Don Zeno and possibly receiving that repetition in the lower arm stand if indeed the judge thinks the legs came together. If they do, then it would be a two point deduction. Now we're only being so picky because this is the World Championship. And it is very close at the top of the leaderboard. Solid in the reverse stand split. a little bit forwards at the end of it, landing well. <laughs> and well through the backward stand. Very good technical test for Megan Leeper of Canada. Canada with some exceptional up and coming athletes. 
small moment of tension in the backward stand. No foot movement whatsoever, though. A good cartwheel and a good reverse stand split for her three technical exercises. She also moved very well with the music. Some lovely choreography in that technical program. Now that is the first 18 competitors having completed their technical programs here at the FEI World Championships for Young Vaulters. And we will have a short break until 19.12. 12 minutes past seven is when we return for the second half. And that second half promises more excitement for you to look out for. Anime seems for Germany. Alice Lear, the current leader and European Young Vaulter champion. We also have Anna Wiedenauer, she is currently in second place, and of course, Averill Saunders. And a score there for Sofia Krippa. And that was a 5.106 in the technical test. We penalised for not landing the cartwheel. Giada Samiola, 6.868. And the artistic score for Giada struggling. And Leonie Kohler for Austria. We just saw her 7.491. And that takes her into the fourth place after the technical test. And actually the fourth place overall after round one currently. And just that one final score to come from Megan Leeper. We're waiting on the score for one judge and we will update you on that score when we come back in 10 minutes time at 12 minutes past seven.
and we return to the second half of the Young Volter Female Technical Tests here at the FEI Vaulting World Championships in Flinge. The first half of the competition proving very exciting. The leader currently Ida Wellander from Sweden. She scored a 7.916 in the technical program and leads overall on a 7.690. Our second best technical test of the day from Michelle Brueger from Switzerland, 7.808. And the third for Paula Waskowiak from Germany, 7.518. Plenty more action to come in the second half of the competition. Fifteen competitors yet to come. And the next competitor coming in representing Great Britain. One of two competitors in this Young Volter class. Young Volter is 16 to 21 age group. And here comes Ursula Levitt, representing Great Britain, with Pauline Riedel and Soul Rings Million Voices. Ursula, 17th after the compulsory test. Today's technical test combined with that compulsory test to make up the round one score. Now we're looking for three of those five technical elements. The lower arm stand, reverse stand split, Ground jump to reverse shoulder stand, backward stand for the cartwheel. And judges scoring those technical elements specifically alongside the performance of the additional elements for the technique score. And the artistic being made up of the complexity of the sequences between those three technical elements along with the unity of composition and musical interpretation. elements with the reverse stand split. Little grab of the pad. Landing softly from that cartwheel. Quite holding that handstand. This comes in as a performance fault. Jumping into the backward stand. Squeezing and holding a little bit of movement in the backward stand from the feet of Ursula Levitt. However, a great technical test. Getting in all three elements. And some nice moves in between those. The reverse stand split, not quite the 180. And a little bit of the grabbing of the pad, but it's just up to two points off for ripping the back pad, depending on what the judge made of it. Ursula Levitt for Great Britain. 
Coming up next, for Germany, Ademir Seamus on Herbie. And the score for Megan Leeper, who we saw just before that break, 7.210. Very good technical test score for Megan. And she's sitting here in the, in the ninth place after round one. And representing Germany, Anime seems with Herbie and Nina Forberg. Anami currently in the third place after the compulsory test. So, we're hoping for a quality technical test from Anami. Beautiful three-quarter turn, hiring some difficulty in there or squeezing into that lower arm stand. Slight arch in the back. Softly transitioning into that roll, very well performed. cartwheel well. Definitely some stiffness through her hips in it. <sighs> Just getting the bell before taking the step into that free cartwheel. Backward stand, her third element that we saw there, and it was solid, if not marginally leaning towards the horse's neck and probably that little bit of balance making the difference, having to squeeze for that extra stride and therefore getting the bell costly in the artistic score. And it had been such an excellent artistic program. Not quite the quality of technical elements that she needed today. And the score for Ursula Levitt for Great Britain, 6.492. And that's a 6.747 in the first round. That's the 13th place so far for Ursula Levitt. Now representing Finland, Anna Kvisto with Adrup guards Marlene Tu and Una Pekala. Anna in the 26th place after the compulsory test. 26.5. 
21 years old. Landing that cartwheel just off to the outside. Definitely getting the score in. Pretty nice backward stand split. coming into that final technical element. Just making it off in time. She knew it was close and definitely made sure she got off in time. Holding the backward stand as her thir third technical element as well. It's slight deviation in the body posture in the backward stand. Good test for Anna Vista, working well with her music. A few of the in-between exercises not quite held for the three strides necessarily to score them. So there will be a reduction in the sequence score and therefore a slightly lower artistic. And the score for Anna Mead seems for her technical program 7.7. .7. Nine six, which is the third place in the technical test. However, keeps her in first place overall so far after round one. Good scores for Herbie for Anami, averaging a seven point three. And a full point in difference in the artistic judges. So whether that is due to consideration of if she had started before or after that bell had gone, that could be making the difference in the artistic score. Let the exercise judges more in agreement. And the next competitor will come in representing Italy. Giorgia Fanucci with Bambola and Elettra Lombardi. Giorgia in the sixth place after the compulsory test. Another one of our athletes looking for a top score in this technical program. Best technical test so far has earned a 7.916 from the judges. And that was Ida Wellander of Sweden.
well performed double stand. It's a little heavy coming out of it, but that is a performance fault, not a fault from the exercise itself. Holding the needle well, top leg slightly off the outside. Just a little bit heavy in between, landing hard on the horse every now and again, and just gaining some performance faults there. Good cartwheel. And finishing in time, Giorgia Fanucci from Italy, completing her technical program. And we saw all the three required tech test elements there. The lower arm stand very well held. The stand split just slightly out of alignment. She did hold the pad before the exercise began, so that shouldn't affect the exercise score. And then it was a good cartwheel just lacking some harmony with the horse and I think we'll see that come through in the technical score. An interesting choice of music went very well with the outfit but sometimes that higher level more excitable music just makes it a little bit more obvious if the vaulter is not quite in harmony. And unfortunately I feel like that was the case in that technical program. And the score for Anna Kavisto of Finland, 6.181. And that's a 6.488 overall, and into the 17th place so far, 19th in the technical test itself. And the artistic score, the low ones are there. And again, that is just due to these not held exercises and only having a few of the lower level difficulty exercises between the technical elements. Most importantly, she got all three elements in though. And now representing Sweden, Julia Lindqvist with Feel Good and Daniela Fisbeck. Julia in the 24th place after the compulsory test. Cartwheel. And again, a solid reverse stand split, holding the back pad though, not using it to grip onto so much, just for that extra bit of security. squeezing out the three strides in the backward stand. And then finishing off with a roll down the shoulder, Julia Lindqvist. And 
was a very dynamic start to that technical test, moving well across the horse and then along from the back to the neck before her cartwheel and choosing the needle and backward stand as the other technical elements. Backward stand, little lacking in top posture and with that counting error potentially as well. But nicely completed, this was the dynamic start to the test. Stand split a little off the 180 degrees, which would be required for the score of 10. And the score for Giorgia Fenucci from Italy, 7.585 in the technical program and 7.572 total score after round one. Next to compete representing Argentina, Natasha Nicole Ariza Balaga. And she's competing on Christmas PSZ with Ninka de Wolf. And in the 29th place after the compulsory round. 18 years old. through the cartwheel, not quite holding that landing for the stride. I don't know if they'll count that. And then into the lower arm stand. Just about one stride held there. Backwards stand, split, and then into the cartwheel dismount. Good finish. Good score for that last sequence with the D dismount. And giving the judges something to think about with the cartwheel. So the prescribed landing is with the first leg straight, or a straight physiologically straight, um, absorbing the horse's movement and the second leg straight until it passes 45 degrees, which I don't think, unfortunately, she managed to do in that cartwheel. So she will lose out likely on that score. And the score for Julia Lindqvist for Sweden, 6.150. And that is the 21st place after the technical program. Judge D, much higher on the technical scoring than the other three technical judges. Similarly, a little bit of a difference on the artistic score as well. Just remember, these are provisional scores. And once the paper sheets have been gathered and checked, then everything will be ratified later this evening. 
So that score still to beat top tech test of the day for Ida Willander of Sweden. 7.916. No one has yet managed to make it into the eights. The next competitor representing is Spain. Lucia Sean Van Alarcos. And then she will compete with Nugget and Michelle Kung. And we've seen a good amount of Nugget today in this ring. And he has been receiving some fabulous horse scores. Some difficulty in at the start there, but free forward roll again, not landing the cartwheel in the prescribed way. And the judges cannot go with the score. in the backwards stand split. <laughs> Lucia Sean Van Alarcos for Spain. Now she was in the 22nd place after the compulsory test. with some good difficulty rolling up through that demount and forward roll and squeezing through the lower arm stand as well as a good backward stand split so just that cartwheel losing out on the score for that Natasha Nicole Arazabalaga. The score for Argentina 5.793. That's the scores on her screen there. So the nice horse scores for Christmas. A 7.3 and a 6.7. Next to compete, representing Austria, Anna Weidenauer with Shivas and Maria Lehrmann. Anna currently in the second position after round one. course she is the current junior European champion but has moved out of that age bracket this year and into the young Volter class.
Still no one having broken that eight for the technical program, 7.916, the top score so far this evening. Jumping right into that shoulder stand. Excellent first technical element. And that was right after the sideways cartwheel. So good sequence score for the first sequence. Four arm stand. I'm going to squeeze to hold that for the full amount of time. It was a nice cartwheel, not fully along the horse's spine for the full 10 points. I'm just losing that final arabesque, not holding it, making it off in time with a lovely back handspring dismount. Good quality tech test there for Anna Weidenauer with Shivas and Maria Lehrmann representing Austria. A very nice ground jump into the reverse shoulder stand. Incredibly clean, not even close to touching the side of the horse. That is a high scoring element. This was a good build up into that first technical exercise as well. The score for Lucia Sean van Alarcos from Spain 6.192 in the technical program today. And now we have three coming on the same horse. Melanie Ford, Melinda Bohassi, and Yasmin Rodriguez representing the USA, Hungary, and New Zealand. All together with San Felice Z and Christina Ender. And Melanie Ford will be the first to compete for the USA. 12th place after the compulsory test with a 7.323. She was just managing to hold together and not quite at the end, coming off in that backward stand.
start to finish just with some over rotation toward the end and incurring that small deduction. Now, as we saw in the female class yesterday, these falls in technical test are extremely costly. Coming off in that backwards stand is a deduction of three points from the performance score at the technique judge. Next duel for Hungary, Melinda Bohasi. Solid reverse stand split, albeit not the quite 180 degrees. cartwheel on that first foot. Jumping into the backward stand and she's repeating that one. Just managing to get the arms static there eventually. And receiving the bell being over the time limit. I don't know what the judges will do with that backward stand. To come to the arms have to be static. She did have to go into it a couple of times. And we'll wait and see what the score says. Good needle and good cartwheel, however, from Melinda. Minus one point on the artistic score, certainly because of the bell exceeding the time limit. Yasmin Rodriguez now for New Zealand. supposed to be I think the ground jump to reverse shoulder stand and then unfortunately letting go of the handle so again a hefty penalty for the fall and losing contact with the horse and then repeating that technical exercise as it is straight away getting it in the second time though so just a two-point deduction on the second time that she did that one. Good cartwheel, landing it on that foot. And unfortunately again, receiving the bell just because she had to go on and repeat the technical element, the ground jump to the shoulder stand. Nice to see the three girls competing together here on San Felice with Christina Ender. Not necessarily their day to day. Melanie coming off in that backward stand and then completing a nice test thereafter. And then Melinda and Yasmin both receiving the bell. 
Now we have a bit of time to catch you up with some of the scores there. Anna Weidenauer has finally broken that eight mark in the technical test score for the day, 8.042 for Anna Weidenauer, which pushes her right into the lead ahead of enemy teams of Germany. And the score for Melanie Ford, 5.0. 8.59. Now into the arena, Alice Lair from Germany, 21 years old and current European champion in the Young Volter class with Lambic von Strohkapelikin and Andrea Blatz. She has had a very good season, a confident start in her compulsories yesterday. And those compulsories found her in first place with a comfortable lead over the rest of the competition. So she has a small bit of breathing space. And the new top tech test score for today is that 8.042. Certainly, she is capable of going higher than that. Handstand roll again, piling on the difficulty and artistic elements to get the sequence going into this lower arm stand. Very nicely held. Great difficulty. Sideways cartwheel with a switch of the leg just before a certainly 180 degree backward stand split. Wow, so powerful. Smooth through the cartwheel. Minor little slip. She had started that dismount for sure. That was an epic technical test in this young Volter class. Easily the best we've seen today. I am positive. Andrea Blatz was working hard in the center there with Lambic van Strohkaplinken. Not that we had time to look that much at the horse, drawn in so much by Alice's vaulting. Ooh. The scores for her technical sequences in the artistic must be massive. Pressing up into that handstand on top of the handles, which she held, gaining an R for that sequence, along with the other exercises, not just one element in between there. She had many, and they were all executed almost to perfection. And that's why she is the current European champion. We come down from that excellent performance. We welcome in the next competitor, Verena Brabeck. And that's a tough competitor to follow. 
However, with Asti Royal and Lena Kalker Prime ready to present her technical test, Verena Brabeck. Verena, 10th place after the compulsory test. musical interpretation into the lower arm stand. A little bit of lack of the body control through her back, but she held on to the element. Turning into the backward stand split leg coming off to the outside a little bit towards the end. Struggling back up from that ground jump. Looked like she was all the way up and just moving over, but just lost the center of gravity down back the outside. Again, fortunately, landing it on her feet, but it's still a very hefty penalty for the fall. And firing back on through a lovely cartwheel making sure then that she was off through before the bell. Just so unlucky in that outside ground jump. Making it through all the technical elements and then freestyle one that she can probably do in her sleep, causing her problems today. And technical test takes no prisoners fall even such as that incurring a three point deduction as well as the performance fault for when she was trying to stay on beforehand now the score for Alice Lair for Germany 8.481 huge technical score all of the technique judges there agreeing over a nine for her technical elements. In fact, 9.5 from one of them. Very strong technical program. Alice Lair. Okay, now for Canada, Adrian Sonder. And we have the score also for Melinda Bocassi from Hungary. That was a 6.238. Now we will see what can Avril Saunders say to Alice Layers 8.4. Last year in Herning at the Senior World Championships, April came out with a technical test that stunned all of the judges, finishing second in the technical program alone. And that was with the five exercises. Today she must only perform three. Small error at the end of her compulsory test, meaning she had to repeat the first part of flank has found her in the fifth place after the compulsory test. However, there certainly is room to move up with a solid program this evening.
the ground jump into the outside shoulder stand, sorry, inside shoulder stand, coming from the outside, the only competitor to do that today. And it was a well-performed ground jump into shoulder stand. Again, piling in the difficulty to get these top marks for the sequences. To the backward stand split. Well, well held. Mildly off the 180, but just a touch. Moving well on rock emotion. Final technical element. Super strong. Excellent. And she can be very pleased with that performance today. That's what she needed after a little bit of a frustrating start yesterday. I'm sure she's thrilled just to get through that program. Very good technical elements. Super lower arm stand. Very good in the ground jump to shoulder stand and a solid needle fractionally off the 180 degrees if we are comparing to Alice Lear and that is the standard that we are comparing to right now Alice up at the top there 8.481 but Averill also piling on the difficulty in the in-between exercises so looking for a high artistic score as well certainly going to push her up the result table Yasmin Rodriguez, the score for her 5.277 for the technical program. And then for Verena Brabeck of Austria, 6.607. Bit of a difference in the horse score on Verena's score at the moment, so I'm sure that will be double checked before the final results come out. And just like that, we find ourselves with one competitor left in the competition today, representing the USA, Emma Melito. She's competing with Wallace. And Nienke de Wolf. Emma in the 18th place. After the first round compulsories. into that forward roll. Into the backward stand split. And holding it. Moving into the backward stand. We'll go up again there. Now we have the static arms. getting some artistic elements in there as well. 
behind the cartwheel, landing as she needed to to get that score. <laughs> A great little forward roll off. Really nice dismount there for Emma Melito, representing the USA. Just a little drop down in the turn to backwards stand. Needle was nice, she had to work to keep that leg on up there and a good cartwheel with a nice landing. Some fun little artistic pieces too from Emma Melito. Now, boy, do we have a large score coming for you now. Averill Saunders from Canada. 8.747 in the technical program. She flies into the lead in this technical test and has pulled herself all the way into the second place now after round one. So Averill Saunders, 8.190 after round one. Alice Lair of Germany still in the lead. Her total round one score, 8.364. There's Averill's score, almost scoring a nine from every single judge. Certainly, definitely scoring that nine from every single technical judge. And good horse scores there for Nina Forberg and Rock Emotion as well. It is certainly the exercise scores which are making the difference between Averill and Alice. Also the artistic. One result still to come. Currently Alice Lair in the lead for Germany. Averill Saunders second now for Canada and Anna Weidenauer in the third place for Austria. That is the round one results. All of these girls will compete again in the final on Saturday, which is also going to be incredibly exciting to watch. And the final score now of the day for Emma Melito. In fact, we're still waiting for one of the judges to get their scores in before we can tell you that final score for Emma. But I can tell you the top three will not change. So Germany, keep the lead. There's Emma Melito's score for you just now. 6.404 in the technical program, the 22nd tech test today. And that is the 20th place overall. And then we will leave you there with Alice Lair for Germany in the lead. Averill Saunders, second for Canada. And Anna Weidenauer for Austria in the third place. And we will return tomorrow for the start of the Pas de Deux competition. But it is both senior and junior in the morning. Then we'll follow the Young Volter technical test males. And after lunch, we will begin to see the medals being won by the senior European individuals and squads. So a very exciting day, full day of vaulting to come for you tomorrow. We will start the morning at 8.30 a.m. Have a good evening and we will see you tomorrow.